What's up guys? Today I'm gonna to be going over and talking about our latest product for you Ford owners. It is our XB taillights for the 2017 to 2022 Ford Super Duty. But before we get into the install, let's tell you what these bad boys are all about. So first off, let's go ahead and talk about your OEM taillights. If you have a Super Duty, you either have the halogen style or the full LED systems. So now on to the XB taillights. These are a full plug and play system. No maintenance, no bulbs, no nothing. They also come in two different colors. You can either have the smoke version or the red version. And also it doesn't matter if your truck has the bliss system or not. These tail lights will work with that, which is extremely hard to find in the aftermarket tail light, but we did it for you guys. So when ordering your tail lights, all the components will be included with them. Doesn't matter what year, make and model you have, these tail lights will work for your Super D. So let's go ahead and go over all the components for you. So first things first, in your kit, it'll actually come with an adapter harness. This is what you'll be using to plug up to your tail light to your OEM harness. So next in the kit will be two resistors. One will be a 3.75 ohm resistor and the other will be a 7.5 ohm resistor. So depending on your year and model will depend on if you use these or not. Now, if you do use both of them, you'll be using the step down hardware that comes in the kit as well. Later on, I'll show you how to use these and installing these into the tail lights. Now, if you're only using one of them, you'll just be using these smaller screws with the little washers on them. So now that we've gone over all of the components that come with your tail light, we're gonna go over each individual tail light that you have, either the OEM LED, the halogen with bliss, or the halogen without bliss, and what components you'll be using that with your new XB tail lights. So if you're using the one resistor, the 3.75, you'll be installing it right here and using the two screws with the washer that's included with the kit and just tighten those down. Now, if you're using two resistors, you'll be using the 7.5 and also the 3.75. You'll take one resistor and place it up against the bracket. Now take your two standoffs that come in the kit and line them up to the two back holes that are on the back side of your bracket. Just tighten those all the way down. So once those two standoff screws are installed, then take your other resistor and lay it right on top of the standoff. And then just use your two smaller screws with the washers and screw those down. Now, if you need the harness, it looks something like this. Each one of them will be labeled one, two, three, four. And then on the very bottom will be where you'll be connecting your resistors to. Also keep in mind, there are dummy plugs on the top of these. This helps for no water intrusion, just in case if you do not use that plug. So leave these on there if you're not using the plug. So if you have a 2017 to 2019 halogen without bliss, you'll be using one 3.75 ohm resistor on the red wire, two screws, the adapter harness using plug one and plug three. Now for the 2017 to 2019 halogen with bliss, You'll be using the 3.75 resistor on the red wire, two screws, the adapter harness, and using plugs one, three, and four. So now for the 17 to 19 OEM LED tail light, it is the easiest install, but there's one thing that we want you guys to double check. First things first, go ahead and remove the bracket off the back side of your XB tail light. There's four seven millimeter screws that you'll be removing. So once that removed, go ahead and locate the purple to red wire. For example, on this one, it is already connected from the purple to yellow. Go ahead and just disconnect that and connect the purple to red, and then you're good to go. Now just take your bliss system and reinstall it into your Morimoto bracket and reinstall that bracket back to your tail light, and your install is ready to go into your Super Duty. But here in a second, I'll show you guys how to install these, but let's go ahead and keep rolling into the rest of the tail lights. So now for the 20 plus halogen without bliss, you'll be using both resistors, the 7.5 ohm and also the 3.75 ohm. The hardware, you'll be using both standoff screws and the standard smaller screws. You'll also be using the adapter harness using plug one, two, and three. Next up, we have the 20 plus halogen with bliss. You'll be using both resistors again, the 7.5 ohm and the 3.75 ohm. You'll be using all the hardware, two of the standoff screws and the standard screws as well. You'll be using the adapter harness also using connectors one, three, and four. So now for the 20 to 22 OEM LEDs, all you have to do is check for that purple to yellow wire inside the tail light. Just make sure that it's connected and you're good to go. You won't need none of the resistors, none of the harness. It's just a full plug and play system. Now just take your bliss system and reinstall it into your Morimoto bracket and reinstall that bracket back to your tail light 
and your install is ready to go into your Super Duty. Okay, now that you know about all of the components that come with these tail lights, it's time for the good part. As you see, they come in two different variations, either the red version or the smoke version. They both have identical features. It's just one's a different color than the other. They are full LED systems as well. They come with a five-year warranty on top of that also, guys. So now it's time to go over the features. Both tail lights have a beautiful turn signal. So inside there's a C-shaped turn signal that is extremely bright with a standard blink. And on the parking light, they have a very nice upgraded modern look to them as well. And for the reverse light, they outperform the OEM reverse lights like no other. So when backing up to the wall, you can tell the extreme difference between the OEM tail light and our boost bar. And if you compare these to the non-LED tail lights, the new XB tail lights literally blow those straight out of the water. All right, now that you're an expert with our new Morimoto XB tail lights, we're gonna go ahead and get straight into the install. Go ahead and just drop your tailgate and you're gonna be removing these two screws right here. There'll be two eight millimeters. So there's two plastic tabs on the side of your tail light. Make sure to pull out and then forward. Just like so. So these are the two plastic tabs I was talking about on the tail light. Now with the tail light removed, go ahead and disconnect your OEM harness. All right, now with the tail light disconnected, go ahead and set this aside. You can use a very soft mat, such as the new Morimoto mat placement, and then go ahead and grab your new XB tail light because we're going to be taking the Bliss system out of it and installing it into your new XB tail light. So now for the next few steps, we're not gonna be using any power tools from here on out. Due to the fact that we're working with plastic and metal, it can fatigue the plastic and break some things. So just keep that in mind when doing this install. Also keep in mind that your install may be a little bit different than the others. For example, this truck right now is rocking the OEM LED taillights. They have the Bliss system already in it. Now with our new XB taillights, they are Bliss compatible, but they do not have the Bliss system. So you actually have to harvest the Bliss system out of your OEM taillights and put it into our new XB taillights. So go ahead and start off removing the three seven millimeter bolts on the back bracket of your Bliss system. Okay, now with those screws out, you can just gently pull out your bliss system. Just pull straight up and out, and then lay it aside just like so. So just go ahead and remove the two Phillips screws here and here. You can unplug it from the circuit board, but you don't have to because you do have a decent amount of clearance here. So what you do is just go ahead and take this one Phillips out. And then there's two little bracket holes right here. You'll just wedge it up and out of there releasing it, and then just disconnect it from the harness. Now with the bliss system out, go ahead and just take your OEM tail light and set it aside. All right, now it's time to work with the XB tail light. Using the same tool as seven millimeter, go ahead and just remove the four screws on the back side of it. All right, now with those screws removed, just go ahead and pull up on the bracket revealing where you'll be putting your bliss module into. So now with the bracket out, there's gonna be two T20 screws right here. Just go ahead and unscrew those and then set those aside. Now with those out, go ahead and grab your bliss system and go ahead and connect it to your Morimoto harness. Just go ahead and take your bliss system and just line it up into the two tabs on the back side of your bracket. Just make sure none of the wire is in the way and that the module is laying nice and flat against the bracket. Now just go ahead and take those two T20 screws and just line them back in and tighten them down. All right, it should look something like this once you're done. Just go ahead and take your bracket and your bliss system and just route it back into your taillight, making sure none of the wires is interfering with the taillight. And just push down just slightly with your fingertips and then just take those screws and just screw them back in. Now just keep in mind guys, when tightening these down, do not over tighten them because you do not want to break that black plastic on the back side of your tail light housing. All right, now with the module installed, we're gonna get straight into the install. So just go ahead and plug it into your OEM harness. Just line up the two metal tabs here and here and just slide the tail light in just like so. And then make sure to hold the tail light so it does not fall out. Just take those two other screws and just replace them and tighten them down. And just like that, your tail light's installed. Now for your passenger side, it's gonna be a little bit different. We have a special surprise for you guys and it's called the boost bar. So let's go ahead and get the passenger tail light out. Now go ahead and transfer the OEM module into your new XB tail light, but do not install the tail light just yet. 
All right, now with your Bliss module fully installed, you're ready for the install. But if you do want to do the new Morimoto Reverse Boost Bar, this is a super, super great, easy product to install with integrated with our new tail lights. The Boost Bar is literally a light bar that connects to your license plate. And with the new XB tail lights, it integrates and plugs and play with them with a breeze. But the really cool thing about these is that we have integrated these into the new XB tail lights as well. Meaning on our XB tail lights, there's a piggyback tail right here that connects to the new XB Boost Bar, which is super easy and it's a full plug and play install. Now with the Morimoto Boost Bar, this is the perfect upgrade for individuals that need that little bit of extra light when reversing. The XB tail lights are extremely bright already, but this just adds that little extra boost that you need. So with this, it is extremely easy to install. Now, if you don't have the XB tail lights, that is totally okay. There's an adapter harness that comes with a kit and then also a fuse tap that you can actually fuse into your OEM harness. But we're not gonna be doing that today because we have the XB tail lights. So for this install, go ahead and just remove the two screws that are on your license plate. So you can either use a flathead or an eight millimeter socket to remove those. So you'll notice there is a little wire on the back of your boost bar. You could either take a marker or something sharp to mark that spot so you know where to drill the hole at. Reason why we're drilling the hole is so we can take this wire and tuck it back behind the bumper so that the install is nice and clean. So a trick that I kind of did as well, guys, go ahead and just screw in your OEM bolt holes so that way you can kind of get the exact area where that wire is gonna be and then just mark right behind it. So before drilling, keep in mind, guys, there is a metal plate back behind this. So do not drill all the way through the metal. There's no need for that. And it's as easy as that, guys. Now just go ahead and take this wire and you're gonna run it through that hole. Keep in mind, you're gonna have to pull back on the plastic trim just a little bit to give it some room between that metal plate. Once you have it pulled, you're just gonna route it down in between the bumper. Now, as you can see, there's a little grommet on your light bar. You're basically gonna pull this all the way down to your boost bar, and then you're going to feed the wire in, and you can even use a small pick just to help it get into that little groove. All right, now with your grommet installed, go ahead and just take your license plate and install those two screws that you took out earlier. No need to over tighten those but you're good to go. Now let's go ahead and run the wiring up to the passenger tail light. All right, now that we're underneath the truck, guys, we're gonna take the harness and we're just gonna run it up between the actual bumper and the frame of the truck. So just route it just like so. And then we're gonna pull all the excess up through the OEM harness right here and then up to the passenger tail light. So now guys, we'll just meet you up to the passenger tail light area. Now just go ahead and pull that wire up and through to your tail light. There is gonna be a lot of excess, but we're gonna tidy all those wires up later on. Now we're over here by the tail light. There is a little piggy tail harness right here. This is what you're gonna be using to connect your boost bar harness to your XB tail light. Just go ahead and remove this little cap right here. This helps for no water intrusion to get into that harness, just in case if you do not have this upgrade. Now just take your wire and connect it. And easy as that, guys, your boost bar is connected to your XB tail lights. Now it's time to install your tail lights. Go ahead and just plug it into your OEM harness. Now just take your boost bar wire and just slightly just tuck it in there and we'll tidy it up from the bottom. Just line those tabs back up. And just take those two screws and tighten them back down. So you just got done installing the best tail light upgrade for your Super Duty. So it doesn't matter if you have a 2017 to 2022, these tail lights will work for you. Even if you have halogen or LED with Bliss compatibility, these tail lights are the perfect upgrade for your Super Duty. And if you also want that little extra light boost, don't forget about the new boost bar. So make sure to go ahead over to our website at morimotolighting.com and put your year, make, and model and see what all other products we have for your Super Duty. Thanks again for tuning in, guys, and we'll catch you next time.